next week on The Hitchhiker. For a wealthy family, it was so easy to dismiss their crippled daughter's fears. You hate me. To wave away her anguish. Yeah, oh no. But before the sun rises again, no one will be left to stop the terror. <gasps> the Hitchhiker, premiering Tuesday, November 12th on HBO. When he appears, strange things happen. has been rated R by the Motion Picture Association of America. It is intended for mature audiences. Parents may wish to consider whether it should be viewed by children under 17. HBO will show this feature only at night. The Howling. Somewhere in this city. In this human jungle. It begins. Just try. He's right there. What do you see? What's there, Karen? What do you see, Karen? What's there? Somewhere in these woods, in this primal, sensuous, secret place, lies an experience too terrifying for words. And now, all anyone can do is watch and wait. Tonight I'm going to show you something. Make you believe. The Howling. It's me, the heavy breather from every horror film you've ever seen. You know me. First I terrorize my victim by the telephone. <laughs> then I choose my murder weapon. A gun? Nah, too easy. Uh, a hatchet? Nah, I always use a hatchet. For this movie I want something... Very frightening and deadly. Ah. Then I climb the stairs to surprise my victims. Why do they always live upstairs? This movie's a comedy, so killing's not so easy. Sugarless. The movie's called Student Bodies, so I picked the typical American high school. This is Mr. Peters. Your principal. Mr. Peters! You're naked! Yes, Toby. All these years I've been secretly naked underneath my clothes. Meet the rest of the faculty. The shop teacher. The guidance counselor. The janitor with the IQ of a handball. What's he doing? Sex education teacher. This is totally unnecessary, ugly, and gets in the way. Your mother? She also told me that sex was bad and dirty, uh, but only with my father. With everyone else, she said it was great. <laughs> I'm into murder myself, and student bodies are going to be everywhere. <laughs> Dead bodies down, Phil. 15 yard penalty. <laughs> See 
student bodies. A killer comedy. Government agents, scientists, soldiers, master criminals, secret formulas, monsters, and midgets. None of them belong in this swamp. Only one thing does. The Swamp Bear. Uh-huh. Here comes trouble. The Swamp Thing. There goes the neighborhood. Adrienne Barbeau and The Swamp Thing, an outrageous pair in the incredible adventure that grows on you or all over you. The Adventures of the Swamp Thing. The comic book legend lives. Beneath the city of New York are living catacombs, an endless maze of subterranean tunnels, unfit for anything human. Unauthorized for anything experimental. Hold it! It's not moving up ahead in the tunnel! And unlikely to bring anyone down there. So... <coughs> they're coming up. Chud! <coughs> Chud! Check your basement. And your bathroom. Keep off the street and try to hide. But remember, the dark is their place. The night is their time. And tomorrow, the only things living in the city of New York will be Chud. Chud. Cannibalistic, humanoid, underground dwellers. Chud. They're not staying down there anymore. Alex Gardner has a unique talent, and even he doesn't know what it can do. No one has ever done it before. No one has even conceived of doing it before. You're going into another person's dream. You might have to see that to believe it. He is about to enter a world that no one has ever seen before. The world of your dreams. I was under the impression we were conducting scientific research here. You sound as if you don't approve. I can see you're going to be a real challenge to work with. Oh, wait a minute, Doctor. I haven't agreed to anything yet. There's somebody in my dreams. Who? An awful, ugly monster. This kid is being eaten alive and nobody gives a damn. Whatever his demon is, you have to help him face it. There's nobody there. Are you sure, Alex? He's always there. But Alex will make a discovery more frightening than any dream. What's going on? I had to let you know you're in danger. You want my secrets? I just want some advice. I'm afraid he has to be killed. I'll assign some men to you. But I think I should deal with this on my own. And now, his only way out is to go back in to the dreamscape. Quaid, Kate Capshaw, Dreamscape. When you close your eyes, the adventure begins.
out in the desert. Further than the eye can see. Beyond all towns. All roads. Where few have ever been. Who'd put a welcome sign out here? The hills still have eyes. They'd already killed my mother, my older sister. And now the father is coming after us. Somebody's out by the bus. Little Melvin. He's a 90-pound weakling. Everyone hated Melvin. Yeah, I'm gonna take this mop and shove it down your throat. They teased him. I wanna do it with you. Okay. They taunted him. They tormented him until he had a horrifying accident and fell into a vat of nuclear waste. Transforming little Melvin into a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength. Melvin became the Toxic Avenger. The first superhero born out of nuclear waste. Holy shit! I don't know what it was, but it saved my life. All right, everybody, drop your tacos or I'll blow your brains out. The vandals and the perverts had their way with the little people of Tromaville until the Toxic Avenger ripped them apart. The Toxic Avenger. His face is so terrifying. We can't show it to you now. You'll have to see the movie for yourself. The Toxic Avenger can bend steel with his bare hands. Oh, we're all kid. Get it? Leap small cars in a single bound. He crushes drug pushers. Smashes hit and run drivers. For incredible explosive action, you must see the Toxic Avenger. He's a different kind of hero. The Toxic Avenger is coming to your town. Look out.
gallon on a picnic. <laughs> Ow! Now we need a fire. Too bad nobody here smokes. Smoke's going out through here. There must be another way out. Well, when you get lost in the bush, you always follow a stream downhill. I'm sure it'd be the same underground. The big children were going to have an adventure. Oh, miss, I'm starving. Yeah. Before I had Dad's gun, I'd play their stupid guts Yeah, and the cops will kick their bloody teeth in. We've got to fight them. The outnumbers are four to one. Dear, you must let them know what it's like to be frightened. The teacher. The children. The terrorists. Selfie slime sucking animals! Get a time to die! That's a terrific spear, right? I think I should do all the spears. Tommy, ah! <laughs> come back! A prison becomes a fortress. Hell hath no fury. From the director of Poltergeist and the writer of Alien comes a terrifying new film. I'm getting a very small radar cross section. 150 miles long. EGR is confirmed. Tell them we have an artificial object out here. In the tale of Haley's Comet, there's something wrong. Something ancient. Something evil. Jesus. Houston, we have a problem. Something's happening to me. Something hungry. That's brought me to Earth. She's destroyed worlds. That girl was no girl. She was totally alien to this planet and our life form. And totally dangerous. We just found a body in Hyde Park. Life Force. Close your eyes. Visited you how? In my mind. Let it go! It's already spreading. How? You didn't stop it, it's too late. Come. Be with me. Life Force. The terror has just begun. Warning. We interrupt this presentation with the following urgent message regarding the stuff. If you see it in stores, call the police. If you have it in your home, don't touch it. Get out. The stuff is a product of nature, a deadly living organism. It is addictive and destructive. It can overcome your mind and take over your body. And nothing can stop it. Are you prepared to say on the air that you've actually seen people devoured by the stuff? Tonight, America is in grave danger. have been warned. It was a night like any other night. Then something happened. Did you see that? Something different. It's no shooting star. Why here? 
Why now? Why clowns? They've been knocking them dead all over the universe. What are you going to do? Knock my block off? <laughs> Soon they'll be doing it at a theater near you. Killer clowns from outer space. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're just cruising through the galaxy and stopped here for a bite to eat. You don't need a police bell, you need a psychiatrist. Uh -oh. They want to play games? They're messing with the wrong guy. What are you in for? Killer clowns from outer space. It's crazy. Murder, madness, mayhem. And that's just the fun part. Welcome to the crypt. You're in good company. Now here's a shocker from the man who gave you 48 hours. Revolting, but so current. Need a little holiday feel? Shall I scare up the man who framed Roger Rabbit? The killer is here! You asked for it. You got it. Oh. Screaming for more? I have this little number from Superman's super master. Say so to kill you. Doc, doc. I wouldn't count on it. But you can count on my directors. Three Tales from the Crypt, June 10th on HBO. It's a night to dismember. <laughs> Warning, strong content. Parental discretion advised. <laughs>